you are listening to KST podcast this is a short crisp concise exam oriented edited editorial for civil services aspirants in this podcast we are going to talk about direct to mobile technology source for the content is somyarendra bariks article for the indian express the department of telecommunications that is dot and india's public service broadcaster prasar bharti are exploring the feasibility of a technology that allows broadcasting video and other forms of multimedia content directly to mobile phones without needing an active internet connection the technology called direct to mobile that is d2m broadcasting promises to improve consumption of broadband and utilization of spectrum now what is direct to mobile broadcasting The technology is based on the convergence of broadband and broadcast using which mobile phones can receive terrestrial digital TV. It would be similar to how people listen to FM radio on their phones where a receiver within the phone can tap into radio frequencies using D2M multimedia content can also be beamed to phones directly. The idea behind the technology is that it can possibly be used to directly broadcast content related to citizen centric information and can be further used to counter fake news, issue emergency alerts and offer assistance in disaster management among other things apart from that it can be used to broadcast live news sports etc on mobile phones more so the content should stream without any buffering whatsoever while not consuming any internet data now what could be the consumer and business impact of this for consumers a technology like this would mean that they would be able to access multimedia content from video on demand or over the top that is uh, ott content platforms without having to exhaust their mobile data and more importantly at a nominal rate the technology will also allow people from rural areas with limited or no internet access to watch video content for businesses one of the key benefits of the technology is that it can enable telecom service providers to offload video traffic from their mobile network onto the broadcast network thus helping them to decongest valuable mobile spectrum this will also improve usage of a mobile spectrum and free up bandwidth which will help reduce call drops increase data speeds etc So what is the government doing to facilitate D2M technology? The Department of Telecommunications has set up a committee to study the feasibility of a spectrum band for offering broadcast services directly to users smartphones. DOD Secretary K Rajaraman said on the 1st of June. He said and I quote, band 526 to 582 megahertz is envisaged to work in coordination with both mobile and broadcast services. DOT has set up a committee to study this band unquote. At the moment this band is used by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting across the country for TV transmitters. Public service broadcaster Prasar Bharti had last year announced collaboration with IIT Kanpur to test the feasibility of the technology. Now what are the possible challenges to the technology's rollout? While still at a nascent stage, Prasar Bharti CEO has said that uh, bringing key stakeholders like mobile operators on board will be the biggest challenge in launching D2M technology on a wide scale. Information and Broadcasting Ministry Secretary Apurva Chandra said a mass rollout of the technology will entail changes in infrastructure and some regulatory changes. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSG in the courses and to crack the IS exam, visit ksgindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksgindia.com. Thanks for listening.